Welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. Today's video is one of many uh, series of videos that I'll be doing this indoor growing season on how to grow food indoors using Crack Key Hydroponics as well as using the Arrow Garden and I Do system. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up some lettuces and arugula using these Rubbermaid tubs and the Crack Key Hydroponic method. So let's get started. Okay, so it is time to get some lettuce planted up and I'm just getting my two Rubbermaid containers ready here to mix up my nutrients. These have been under the grow lights for a couple weeks now and you can see here got some roots coming sticking out on the bottom. So these are ready to get into some nutrients so they can really start growing. Some of them aren't quite peeking through the bottom yet, but once you get them in that nutrient water, they will really take off. So I have about approximately 10 liters of water in here. So I've calculated out based on this combination of three nutrients from Holland Secret. And based on the measurements on the back of the container, I've calculated out 10 liters so the measurements on the back here are based on a four liter or one gallon size container. So using those calculations, I've just figured out how much I need to put in 10 liters of water. So I'm just gonna mix that up. So you should always stir in between um, putting your nutrients in here. I am mixing this up at about the early vegetative stage according to this chart at the back here. So it's not super strong. Um, I find that the lettuces don't need a really strong solution of nutrients. So I'm going to keep it kind of at the mid, the midpoint according to this chart. And with this amount of water in here, you should never have to add any more. It'll slowly drink it right down all the way till, you know, way past harvest. You'll be able to take cuttings from it several times before this container will be dry. I also like to add this into my crack key nutrients as well. This is called CalMag, and so this adds a little extra calcium and magnesium to your plants, and it's supposed to be good for fast-growing plants such as the lettuces here. So, so it's usually one milliliter per liter of water. This is 10 liters of water, so that would be 10 milliliters. I'm only going to put about five. I like to keep everything pretty diluted just to start off. So I like to check my pH and my EC levels when I first mix up my solutions. I keep a little chart here of the main things that I grow. So for lettuce, the pH should come out around six to seven and the EC somewhere between 1.2 to 1.8. So I'm gonna start with checking the pH level and you usually have to hold the uh, meter in there for a good 30 seconds to get a good reading. It seems to be holding at about 6.4, so that's good. I find the pH usually comes out pretty good using the water I have here. It's treated water that, uh, you know, is our drinking water here in our house. And I usually just let it sit in these containers for 24 hours or more after I've filled them up. So both of these are coming out at 6.4, 6.3. So I like to write it down on my notes here. I'm gonna to have to try and keep a better chart here of my stuff, but for tonight, I'll write it down. And then this is the TDS and EC. This takes a reading of the, 
the PPM or the EC. I always just use the C EC uh, reading. I have a video on uh, more in depth on how to take these readings and adjust your nutrients accordingly if needed. So this one's coming out at 1.8. And this one is also sitting at about 1.7, 1.6. So that falls into the EC range here that you want to be at. So everything's pretty good right now. So we're ready to put the lettuces in. So we'll put the caps on here and you want to make sure that your net pots are touching the water. See this one's got a nice long root so it's going to have no problem reaching the nutrients right away. So this is one of my arugulas and I'm just going to mix them up here a bit. This is the baby leaf. There's just a little bit of tiny roots popping through the bottom but I can see when I put it in here that it is reaching the water okay so those roots will start drinking those nutrients right away and we'll do a butter crunch that's got some roots and this is the gourmet blend so I'm pretty sure we should be able to be eating lettuce in you know in about a month or so so Gonna be great. So there we have probably enough lettuce to feed a family of four for several weeks throughout the winter. So I'm going to get these under the lights now. So before you get these under the lights, you want to make sure you are protecting the plants from getting algae, which will compete with the plants for nutrients. So I use the hydrogen clay balls and just arrange them around the little seedlings and that will keep out the light and prevent LJ. So that is how you get your lettuces set up in the Kraki hydroponic method. Stay tuned for more future videos to get updates on how the lettuce is doing as well as watching me set up more vegetables indoors all throughout the winter. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.